Hey guys, how's it been going? This is Jaser. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take a look at the CSS properties about border. Uh, I believe uh, you're using border like every day. I'm also using it, but it turns out that there are a bunch of this property I've never known before. Okay, let's just uh, start with the border. This is the how I usually write it with one like one pixel solid red, solid black. So actually, it is a shorthand for the below three properties. So let's uh, skip it for, and uh, we will come to these three properties in details. Next one, border bottom. Okay, it is defi It is actually uh, the border for the border bo bottom border. Everything else would be the same actually. Border bottom cutter, border bottom style, border bottom width. Okay, border bottom cutter. But a cutter bottom cutter is with a border cutter and a border bottom. So we'll look at it for the border cutter. It's the border cutter for the bottom only. Mm -hmm. Okay, border bottom left radius. Yes, this is border radius. You know, uh, we, we already write uh, for most of the cases that uh, the four corners have the same radius. Uh, we already use border radius for this, uh, border radius, where this radius here. So we will jump, we will see the details here. Yeah, this is for border uh, bottom left. Uh -huh. Border bottom right radius, the same. Border bottom style, style for bottom, width for bottom. Okay, let's jump to the border cutter. Uh, border cutter, um, yeah, it's set with the cutter values. And actually we can have four values for them, border cutter. Wow, this, actually I didn't know this. Um, yeah, this is for top, this is for right, this is for bottom, this is for left. And obviously we could set the different cutters for each border with the border bottom cutter or right cutter, right? Yeah, this is cutter, nothing special. And uh, next one is border image. Never used this before. So actually we could create a border rather than the cut, pure cutter, we could use the image for this. Let's see what it is. Okay. The second one. Okay, this is draw an image and replace, replace the regular border. Okay, this is probably for following this properties. I should think there would be a detailed explanation. Let's take a look at the, the basic usage. Uh, this is the source and this is slice. Hmm, what is slice? Offset and slice. Yeah, we would. Um, okay, let's see the, the first example URL and a slice with a border and this is hall. I don't know what it is. This is round. Mm hmm This is a feel. Wow. Cool, right? <laughs> okay, this is feel and this is uh just the image and the slice. This is a gradient with a slice. Well this is a gradient Slice, if it is bigger, what happens? Uh, if it is 50, 100. Um, uh, I don't know. Whoa. Uh, see the detailed explanation for each of the, the uh, properties here. This is repeating the gradient. Uh-huh. So from this example, we could see that we actually could customize the border for, for much more, right? With much more styles. Okay, the first one, border image offset um, will be, okay, let's first take a look at the source here. Okay, source. The border image source sets the source image and used to create an image border image. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the source. So let's see what the original um, original image is. This is the order image. Ah, I see. Uh-huh. 
yeah it's actually three it's kind of these these red dots this red diamonds define the corners and these define the repeating stuff right and this is the center uh-huh and this is the stars I would suppose that it actually has the same behavior um stars yeah this is a star yeah wow and this is uh the linear gradient this is none mm, cool so how it is rendered i think oh there's no explanation here Ah, okay the border image slice property is used to divide the source image into regions ah, i see ah so this is the this is the source image but actually we need to divide it as i said this is a corner this is a top border and we need to divide it into uh parts right so that's what this border image uh, slice is about 30 Okay. Oh, yeah. This is explanation here. The slicing process creates a nine regions in total: four corners, four edges, and a middle region. For slice line, they give us a distance from this respective side. Control the size of the regions. I see. If you use fill, the nine will be used. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh huh. Okay. Zone one to four are corner regions. Mm -hmm. Five and eight are edge regions. These are repeated, scaled, or otherwise modified in the final border image. Mm -hmm. Okay, it means the the values are ma meaning. Um, this is for all sides. This is for vertical and horizontal, just like the border. This top horizontal bottom mm -hmm. yeah this is working for it just like the borders okay if it is number it represents an edge offset in pixels for raster images and the coordinates for vector images vector images number is relative to the element size not the size of the source image so percentages are generally preferable in these cases if it is a percentage present an edge offset as a percentage of the source image by size so the numbers actually are used by okay um all size vertical mm. top uh i i'll say so this means for left border this is for right this is for top this is for bottom how we could cut this right if this 30 then this image actually uh will be divided into nine uh, sections with each b 30 times 30 30 30 yeah right okay for the next one if it is feel um okay the feel hmm. uh this feel what is feel means feel preserve the middle image origin and displace the background but stacked above actual background. Uh huh. I see. This will be repeating, right? Yeah. The center one is. Uh, I don't see what it is for. Anyway, you can make it work as a background. If I cut it 44 pixel, it will be something different. Let's see. 44 pixel. Uh, the source image R is the same. Yeah, this is nine so if we cut it with 44 um you see it will keep the half of the 44 a 30 plus um plus the plus the what plus the uh one third no one uh, about one third of the diamond 
so it will actually cut some some somewhere be here right yeah and here so it actually with it will be cut also these uh the, the gray diamond will be used for a little bit right this is 30 so this is a uh, 15 so you want to cut something here yeah just like what you hear it will cut something like this mm -hmm. and then the border between the right will be used as the border so this again will be cut here yeah as we can see here obviously the top border will be like 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 this mm -hmm. 44 uh 44 one ah i'm sorry 44 actually is 30 plus 15, 14 it's actually just the middle yeah 30 and 14 just half of the image so the between them is only one pixel the one pixel will be uh repeated and working as a border like this so wow interesting this is for the one pixel if we should change it to like 45 will be nothing within them right so it should be transparent i don't know oh yeah i see if you use 45 exactly half of the diamond so the there will be nothing between this left and right so you will be transparent nothing there wow interesting so just lift it one pixel okay there is a great this is the slice hmm interesting remember this okay define the grid and then it will it will be automatically repeated to work as a border okay source is this uh okay let's back to the image a slice and next one is repeat with or repeat uh, uh let's see what this is this is the with slice uh -huh. with this is border with uh, this is normal with a border of uh, 30 pixel yeah if I change it to 90 pixel uh, uh, the border still has the border 30 pixel but it will work as the border is 90 pixel and then render it it will be uh, zoomed in let's change it to shrink it uh i see it will be zooming okay cool so the width is actually border image okay it's border image width width of an element's border image uh-huh mm, i see so what we can do is just uh think of it as an image placed within this border and you can define the width mm -hmm. cool and uh next one is repeat Border image repeat. I think default is repeat, right? Default is stretch. This defines how the edge regions of a source image are justified. Uh huh. Okay, this is a uh, stretch. This is repeat. Ah, default is stretch actually. I see. 
let's see the border image. This is diamond. We cut it 30. So actually, the only one diamond will be used as the border. It will be stretched like this. And you can repeat. Uh, easy to understand why it is half of them. Mm -hmm. It's because it's placed in the center. Uh, round. What does it round? Well, start from left, I see, I would see, say. This is space. Uh, okay. Round actually will try to place as much as that diamond as it can and will, will shrink the uh, the diamonds a little bit and uh, to make to make sure that there's no extra space. And as this is allow spacing, round stretch. Great. This we can define uh, different values for different borders. Pretty cool. Okay. The last one is what is it? Outset. Outset and repeat. Outset. What is outset? Border image outset. Distance by which an element's border image is set out from its border box. Zero. 15, 13, 40. Mm. Let's see. Uh, this is the image. Border in background. Mm -hmm. uh, example element here. If none, it will be placed here. Yeah. Then 40. Aha. Uh -huh. This was 10 pixel. Okay. So actually, it's the extra space uh, outside this border box. And actually, sure, there should be supporting negative values, right? Uh, nah. <laughs> negative value is not allowed here. Okay, one pixel. What if we say overflow hidden? Does it work on this one? Overflow hidden. Hmm. Not working. Not. not I, I mean, it doesn't apply to the border image. So yes, cool. Sometimes we need to need some elements to overflow. Uh, maybe we could use this uh, background image to do the trick. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, border image. I said repeat slide source width. Oh, done. Border left is done. Left quarter border radius. Yeah, this is 30 pixel for radius. And this is uh, set the This is for top top left is and also for the uh, bottom right. This is for the top right and left bottom. Hmm. Great percentage. What what this percentage is? Hmm. Percentage is the size of the circle radius or the semi major and the semi major axis of the ellipse. The percentage value percentage for the refers to the width of the box. Uh huh. So at the radius, right? If we want um, a full circle, the radius should be half of it. Let's change it. Change it. So if we change it to like a half of the width. Uh. uh okay. It's uh. Ellipse because the height and the width is not the same. Let's change it to like eight pixel and eight pixel. Yeah, smaller it will be a little. Yeah, different. Cool. So that's all for the border radius. We could define four values for different corners, and also we could use border, uh, bottom right, top left to define uh, separately. Okay, style. Border right stop border style. Okay, this is also shorthand. We could define four values, a different style for this. Usually we would just use solid, dotted. Uh, 
It's not good looking. Ink set. Uh huh. Dashed solid. Mm hmm. This is a this dash. This is solid. Okay. What kind of styles are there? Now hidden dotted dot dashed. Yeah. This is dashed. Solid double. Mm hmm. Groove. Let's take a look. Okay, this is double. Uh huh. This is groove. Groove. What is groove? Mm. Border with a carved appearance. It is opposite of the ridge. Uh huh. Okay, let's change it to groove here. Oh, groove. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, ridge. Opposite of the groove. Um, what is ah? I see. It's the it's something like uh, this is curved out, right? Uh, like you are do some sculpture, and uh, if you pour pu pour some water here, it will be it will uh, accumulate right here. You see these edges, and the light is from the top left. So this border and this one will be lighter and these inset borders will be lighter wow I finally understand groove yeah it's the same but uh, it's uh, the light is from the oh groove uh -huh. should be ah I see I see, I see. So the curve here is actually you can see that there's a, like a, a river around this one, right? So the water stack here, not in the center. Uh, this is a groove. Wow, interesting. The inset, outset. This is inset. Yeah, this is in. Okay, this outset. Cool. Cool. Okay, so this is border style. Or top cutter, blah blah blah, width, width, thick, and the way you use this way, <laughs> this is, yeah, we could define the values for different borders, nothing special. So, this is it, this is all, all for the border. Um, hope it helps. <laughs> uh, actually, the border image is pretty interesting. I never used this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.